Procore is pleased to announce the release out of box integration with Sage Intact. With the Sage integration, your accounting and project management teams can now save time and labor by streamlining the approval process for time sensitive tasks such as commitments and change orders. This new integration will also help eliminate the need for manual double entry by allowing you to transfer data from Pocor to Sage. Here we have all the cost codes these and cost types. These are all come over from Sage Intact, and you can pre select these in order to streamline your project creations over on the Procore side. Here we have all the vendors that came over from Sage Intact. You can bring them in and you can just click add to Procore and it will add it to your Procore directory. If you should create a company in your directory and you want to send it over to Sage, you would hit accept and you would need to enter a vendor ID and export that over to Sage. Let's go over in Sage and look at that vendor. So we'll go to accounts payable and vendors. And there's our vendor right there. Another object you can sync between Procore and Sage are jobs. We have a list of jobs that are in Sage right now, but we cannot, we are able to bring them into Procore by just clicking add to Procore. A lot of our customers will create their projects over on the Procore site and send them to Sage. For this example here, we would just hit accept. We would enter a Sage ID and export that over to Sage. And in a few moments, it should be over on InterSage Pro, um, Intact. Let's go check in Sage. So we'll go into projects this time and go to projects. And we'll search for that. And there's our brand new project that we have here. Sub jobs work just like jobs. Uh, you can create them over on the Procore side and send them over to Sage, or you can create them over on the Sage side and bring them into Procore as a sub job. Now budgets, budgets correspond with estimates over on the Sage side. So all these estimates here, we could bring in Procore and we would have new brand new budgets. A lot of our customers will create those budgets over on Procore side and export those over to Sage. Here's one right here. Let's accept. Let's export that. We'll hit accept. And we'll say OK to that. All right, let's go back over to Sage Intech. If we go back to projects and projects, we'll find that particular one. And let's go to edit. There's a sub tab called estimates. There is our estimate right there. Commitments, this is your purchase order or subcontracts. These would land here. These all originate over on the Procore side and they get sent over to Sage. Let's export this one. All right, let's go into Sage here and let's go to purchasing. And we are going to go into find that right here. And there it is right there. We can view it. And it should have all the details that we had put on the commitment over on the Procore side. Uh, commitment change orders, whenever you have to make a change to existing purchase order or subcontract, you would set to, you would accept this and you would export it over to Sage. The last tool we have with integration is job cost. And what this is, is it will show you data over from the Sage side and to Procore. 
That way you can see the costs that are in Sage without having to open up Sage. For more information on this integration, please visit Procore.com.